G'day, my name's Graham from Digger Man Training. Um, today I'm here to give you a quick demonstration on how to box out a road with our new Trimble 3D Earthworks. Uh, we've got a bit of a set up here that's set up with kerb and cross falls, crowns of the road and stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to jump in the machine, run through a bit of the display and how to read it and give you a quick demonstration. Okay, so inside the machine here, you can see the profile of where we're working. Obviously, at the moment, we're on the top of batter, um, top of batter, toe of batter, and over. Just scroll across over to our bit of a swale drain over there. At the moment, it's roughly at about 250 below finish level. Uh, I'm just going to punch in 270 below finish level, which will, um, that way we can trim a bit off it. So we just if you want to know, you just select on that, and that's where you just punch in minus 0 0.270. Hit apply. Now, once you, as I've mentioned before, your black line is where your finish level would be. The green is 270 below. So, I'll just, that's off design. I'll just get it back in design there. Move back a bit. Right over. Zoom in so you can see a bit better. Get it down to close to be on grade. That's a good example of when you'd shift your reference point. So on your bucket, so say you want to, obviously, if you were, we were cutting our top of batter, you wouldn't want your reference point up there because that's measuring down to your, on top of your batter. We would shift that. We would shift, or you can go back down to here. We would shift that red reference point over to there. That way that's measuring on the profile of your batter, not up on the top. So yeah, a few, few little tips there on how you cut a batter.